This video is designed to serve as a guide, and because each repair may be fact dependent, we cannot guarantee that the information presented here will fix your issue. We are not responsible for any damages to your equipment while attempting these procedures. The XG series was a very popular line of mid-range cameras produced by Minolta from the late 1970s to the mid-1980s. This line includes the XG7, the XG1, the XG9, the XGE, the XGA, and the XGM. If you have one of these cameras in this series that's been sitting around for a number of years, after picking it back up, chances are you run into this. A stuck film advance lever. When faced with this, it's easy to assume that the camera would require some repairs, but more often than not, it's a simpler solution that you can do yourself. The issue is, is that the XG series is, as this Minolta service manual states, electronic auto exposure control 35 millimeter focal plane shutter single lens reflex camera. Or simply put, the shutter is electronically controlled and the camera is battery dependent. The battery used in the XGs are identical to those used in the X370s, the X570, and the X700. As a side note, these cameras will exhibit the same behavior without the proper battery. The battery compartment is located on the bottom of your camera next to the tripod socket. To access the battery, place a quarter or a nickel into the slot on the battery cover. Turn counterclockwise until the cover is free. Once you remove the cover, you should see either a single 3 volt battery or two smaller 1.5 volt batteries. The difference between these two is that the taller 3 volt is a lithium battery, where the two smaller ones are 1.5 volts and silver oxide. We feel that the silver oxide batteries are the optimal replacement. The correct battery would be any SR44. This battery may be designated by a different number depending on the manufacturer. EverReady uses EPX76 while Duracell labels them as 357. Any of these will work as long as they are equivalent to an SR44, so make sure to check before purchasing. In this video's description, we have provided a link to purchase the proper battery replacement. Before installing the new batteries, it is important to check for corrosion that could have been caused by the previous batteries. Corrosion typically appears as a white stain on the metal. Also in the description, we have provided a link to a fiberglass bristle brush similar to what we use to clean any affected surfaces. Next, we use a hand blower to blow away any stray fiberglass that came off during the cleaning. This is a really important tool for any at-home camera maintenance, so a link for one of these is also down in the description. After the metal is clean, stack the two batteries as shown on the diagram in the battery cap, with the positive facing up. Then simply screw the cap back in. After the cap is in place, you will want to release the shutter to return the camera to a ready-to-use state. And that's it. One in four customers coming into our camera shop thinking that their camera was broken simply just had to change the batteries. Hopefully, that's all it was for you, and this video has helped. If you like what we're doing, you know how to follow. Until next time, we are Bill Rogers Camera.